Hey YouTube, um, today I'm here to talk to you guys about the true performance of the AMD A63420M APU. Um, I have made a few videos before on overclocking your APU, um, and I'm here to make another one. Um, so I've been playing around with Fusion Tweaker, and I've been looking at the multiplier and I'm seeing that you can really push this processor all the way to 2.9 even 3 gigahertz see 3 gigahertz apply it runs at 3 gigahertz um, I've been I've been really playing around with it and I've noticed that I can run this computer at 2.9 and um, it really improves the performance and it does not heat it up too much um, see I've got GPU I'll talk about that in a second but core temp it actually doesn't run that hot right now it's running 155 because I'm doing a screen record but that's not too bad uh, CPU Z says it's only doing 2.3 gigahertz which is pretty good um, but my main thing is this right here if it'll pull up um, this is the benchmark test I ran on the processor. Now this computer gets a 3655. Um, originally, just normal clock speed, this computer would get a 2000. I have basically overclocked it 1500 um, operations per second. And that's pretty good for this, uh, this processor with the price of this processor really. Um, but a lot of people here have been wondering about the uh, GPU. Um, it will overclock itself. It says 400 megahertz, but see it's running at 275 right now. The minimum is 110. The maximum is 630 megahertz. Now 630 megahertz is pretty good for this computer. It's an HP. I only paid about $400 for it. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's got 6 gig of RAM. Um, it, it's doing good, but I want to show you guys this also. If you go, you hit System Properties, Windows Experience. I've got a 7.2 for the processor, a 7.2 for the RAM, and a 5.5 for the graphics. And that's pretty good. I guarantee most of you guys watching this video who has this computer does not get that 5.5. Um, this comes with the overclock because when you overclock the APU, you overclock the CPU and the GPU at the same time, and that's pretty good. Um, now, again, most people they're wondering about the temperature of the computer, and really, it's not the the maximum is 239, and yesterday I got it up to about 220, running in three gigahertz, but. 3 gigahertz I've been looking is really not that safe to run the computer. It only run for a couple minutes maybe at 3 gigahertz really doing something. Like um, if I run if I run um, the performance test it's it's not going to do that great um, and it'll really it, it crashes after a while. Um, but it's I don't know it's um, yeah it's it's really not safe to run it at 3 gigahertz but 2.9 I've used it for a couple days uh, my original speed was 2.8 for you guys still running the same voltage um, and I think it's doing pretty good see my computer right now is only running at 163 uh, Fahrenheit and it's doing a lot right now actually it's screen recording um, I've got all these sensors open right now it's it's doing a lot um, <clears throat> So yeah, I was just I wanted to make this video for you guys to show you the real the real potential of this computer, especially with this with the um, 3655 we get here. That's very impressive for this computer and most computers out there, um, considering the um, I don't know the thousand dollar Core i7 I've got sitting in the other room gets a fifteen thousand. Um, this computer alone costs four hundred dollars and it gets a thirty six fifty five so yeah I was just I wanted to make this video for you guys to show how how powerful this processor really is 
Um, I hope you guys enjoy overclocking your CPU. It's really been fun for me, and um, thanks.